road car was separately used to become as a rally car in the, in the 1970s of the World Rally Championship. So, looks like this time it's going to be quite very good to get ready for a custom race on Gran Turismo Sports. So, looks like it's time to get ready to use for the Lancia Stratos 1973 with a pre premium detail interior view from Gran Turismo 6. So, looks like this is definitely part of the second March 2019 update. So, looks like this is going to be a one excellent classic vehicle. We'll be able to drive it on the dirt. So, this will might be able to, have to take a good look on the performance spec. We might need to be able to, to take a good look. So the max horsepower is 185, the max torque is 166.3, weight is 2161, and this one is a mid-engine sports car and it's definitely quite perfectly for an N200 category. So this will be able to, have to race it on the tarmac and the dirt, so it looks like a 5-speed transmission is definitely quite included as well, so this will be very perfect to be able to, have to get ready for one good ordinary standard race. So, looks like this is going to be quite very good to be able to, have to try it out one of the newest vehicles from the update group might be quite very good to be able to get started. So, looks like this is going to have to do a lot more better to be able to, have to get ready to choose the track. So, it looks like it's time to get ready to race on Autodrome Lago Magador East. And this time, this will be able to, have to do on the reverse course. So, this will might be able to get ready. So this will might be able to choose a daytime that might be able to have a clear conditions will be get ready. So looks like this is going to be quite very good to see this mid-engine rail car is definitely quite very good for a group C vehicles was definitely able to drive on the dirt. So it was definitely used as a standard car from Gran Turismo 5 but later in GT6 it definitely became fully detailed premium car treatment is definitely quite become very good to be quite good as simple now looks like this is gonna have to get ready to get started for this race so looks like five laps is going to be quite very tougher to be able to, have to go by the usual and this time this will might be quite very good to get ready to have all the penalties will be setting up and then this will be quite very excellent to be able to get started so I hope that this is gonna be quite very good to be able to, have to get started for this race and I hope that this is going to be a one classic Lancia vehicle was definitely quite very cool and very classic by the original four. So maybe you guys have already did making the exact replica of the rally car version so this is going to be a perfectly well match as a variant so this is going to be quite very good to be able to get ready on the dirt. All right, here we go. So it looks like this is going to be race one of the of the Lago Magador East course reverse. So this will might be get started to be able to get started to be prepared. So looks like this is definitely quite giving a good engine sound. It's definitely quite very good difference for it. So compared for the differences of this category, like the Pontiac Firebird and AM, but this is definitely quite very good for a minute car that will might be able to drive better and this will give a good handling skill that will might be able to do a trip or even that will might be quite better on the dirt. And as for the interior view was definitely quite giving us good plastic that will definitely always remain the same as the usual. So this is definitely quite very good for the handling. So this is gonna get a lot more skills to do it. Well that may be having a lot more problems that might be to be very careful whenever each other vehicles to be able to have to let the classic mid-engine car to be able to get a good chance to do a lot more turns. Well, that was a little bit messy over here, so it looks like just trying not to do my best and then this is going to be quite giving a good trying out for this awesome vehicle. Because this is going to be quite excellent that will might be able to do a lot of consecutive turns that will might be able to keep coming in for it. So this may be able to look around to see that look at this nice interior. Now it looks like this is gonna have to keep racing and then this will be able to do a lot more handling to be able to do a little bit quiet turns that will be good for. 
even perhaps that this is definitely quite very excellent to be able to use as a grip car, but this may be quite very good for a rally car that could probably be able to use, use this turn to do some obstacle turns that will might be able to go for a little struggle. Just gonna have to keep handling skills that will might be needed, but this is gonna be quite fun. better than faster will be by coming to successful for now, looks like coming in on the second lap, so this will be quite going in for it. So even for, for the specialty type of Valencia Trotto, it also has the rally headlight that will be placed on the middle. So, looks like this is definitely a G6, but luckily in G Sport, this is definitely might be quite very good for center headlight cars that will be able to use. So this is going to be a quite good reliable group C rally car that could probably be able to do a lot more good turns like this. And in, this will keep a well focused to be able to get a good balance stability turn that will might be able to keep it up on it. Now it looks like this is going to be able to do a lot more turns to be able to keep going in for it. Slide it in. Now, luckily, the hatcher light is definitely much easier to use. So, it could be able to have a possible way to be able to use the Lancia Grotto, but this is going to be a lot of excellent handling skills that will be able to do a lot more integrity turns to go in for But this will might be quite possible to be able to use the traction or zero to see how turns might be. So, this is going to be quite fun out to be quite very good and successful drift car that we we'll, might be able to use. Okay, coming in for it. This is going to overtake the Toyota MR2, so the Rocco will might be like a huge racing. Now, it looks like we might be able to have a lot, few more credits that might need to get like the Red Bull X2014 Center for the next event, so looks like this will might be even have to wait for it. So you have to do a lot more daily race than any other custom race that might be able to try out with a few other rides that never use. So this is going to be quite very good, and looks like there is another Lancia Strato might be coming in for it. Now, this will be an excellent car that will might be quite very strong and durable that will be able to use it for it. But very good strong car in the N200 category because this is definitely quite very advanced technique that will might be the key skills might be put up to a test. But this will be quite very excellent to be able to do the challenge with the one classic group C rally car. So that will might be able to put up skills to a test that will might be able to get ready. Now, looks like this will be able to have two rounds in the Parmex and the final round is going to be on the dirt. So it looks like this will might be able to save up with some few distance mileage that we might be able to do for the daily workout to start to begin with. Okay, sliding in. Almost there for the Apple with Mail 4C. We're going to do a lot more excellent handling skills to be practicing for the dirt. So the newest, fastest car in the N200 category was definitely the second car, was the Lancia Strato. So this is definitely able to have the most Italian fast mid-engine sports car compared to the Alfa Romeo 4C. So this will be excellent to bring out the two best mid-engine Italian vehicles to be quite coming in to be shown as the new the oldest models will be able to do whenever it takes to take a lot more challenging runs to begin. And this will might be able to keep trying that will be quite giving an excellent handling skill to be able to do much better. See the handling turns on the steering wheel? This is going to be able to do a lot more sliding turns that will be able to do practicing for a drift trial. Okay, there, so kind of make one attempt to swing past overtake on the 4C, we'll be able to keep coming closer.
But I hope that this is going to be a quite excellent center improvement that we might be able to do a lot more better. Okay, keep coming in. Well, looks like this is definitely quite getting the standard tub rate to go in, and then luckily the turn will be coming closer, and Rocco takes the lead. Now, looks like this is going to do a lot more excellent handling skills that might be able to do it, but fly turns. For the Strato, this will be quite very excellent. That will might be even a lot more distance to be able to get for it. Now, it looks like final app is calling in for it, so this will might be able to get a good chance to do it. Now, it looks like this will might be even have done better this time. But this will be able to have a second flag to win for this classic with the road cars will be able to do a lot more excellent skills for it. This will come smarter in, and this will keep it well focused to be able to do this or having an old school rally race that will be able to do it. And this will, despite giving a lot more excellent skills to be able to do a lot more drifting, take a lot more practice. So it would it would be quite very good to be that the to become as an exact replica of a rally car race. There, just kind of to keep a little bit maintain the pace, to stay on the lead, or to come back for it. Okay, going in. And safe, a lot of good caps in, and will be coming in by the short. So, it looks like this is going to be able to have a lot of excellent time to be able to use the radar. So it's pretty smooth to be quite very good to be able to have a one good turn to be able to drive normally. But fly turns are going to be quite very epic and awesome to be able to do it. So we'll make sure that this is going to be quite very excellent for having a one good 1973 vehicle could be quite giving a good excellent who might be able to do the work. So, looks like this will be able to have a good earnings, will be able to stack up much more. So, this will be able to have to save up on it. So, looks like time to get ready for the second round of the race. And this will might be quite very good to be able to do a lot more skills to be able to begin with for it. So, how about a little short track that will might be able to put ourselves to the test and maybe this will might be able to get ready so let's go for the horse deep mile reverse and then this will be quite giving the excellent turns to be able to get skilled in boards but this will might be quite giving a lot more hard turns that will might become better and safer for it but luckily this will be an excellent for one of the Gucci Legend Rally car is definitely able to come simple to be able to go faster for. Taking some technical skills, always gonna have to do a lot more technique that we might be able to do it. Now, looks like it's time to go to race number two, and then let's get ready to get started. Now, this is gonna be the tough one that we might be able to squeeze in for. Just gonna have to do a little bit much more concentration, a lot more patience that we might be able to put up to the next test to begin with. Now, looks like this is gonna be a little bit tricky to be able to have to go in, and then this will go a little bit much standard turns like a normal vehicle that we might be able to take it in for. Okay, just doing like that, and then this is going to be quite very good for the few technical air transformers will be might keep coming in for. Alright, there you go. Just do a little overtake one at a time. Then just gonna have to do a little breaking point so we'll be able to do the left turn. Ooh. 
Now, this is definitely quite very easy without sliding in turns. So this will might be able to do a lot more better turns to do. So easy in and easy out so might be partially in the bottle to also to keep up in the main seat pace. So looks like this is gonna be able to have to do this for the next one. Just gonna do the same thing. Okay, coming in for it. Just gonna do a little bit of supposed to take pass on the pit just hard to see. Now we've got like six more to go, so it looks like this this is gonna be quite very excellent, but we we'll might be able to keep up the handle with the trick. Open taking on that RX7, just gotta wait for the opening spot, and going in. Now it looks like this is gonna be able to do a lot more better to do a lot more patience. So this will be able to have to use it on the short track that will might be able to come better for it. So this will keep up the pressure and keep up the pace and keep it well focused that will might be able to stay steady without sliding turns for it. And even if possible that will might be able to have to do a little bit. Okay, that might be getting the hang of it. So this is going to be like very common and normal that will might be to do the same. Take that M on two. Go there. Now, looks like this will be able to do a lot more concentration pace that we might be able to go at it. Looks like almost there at the end of the halfway lap. Now, going in on the fourth lap, keep trying. So giving the techniques for using the Lancia Strato will be able to do a lot more examples to be able to have a lot of tough corners to be able to do much better without sliding in on a few consecutive turns. But only in the drip trial that might be able to have to do a lot more skills to get a lot of score points to be heated up for. But luckily one surprising tip for changing up the interior view, so it looks like it also has a few colors to be changed up for it whenever you're picking any color on the Lancia Strato that will might be able to change the different types of the interior view. So this is going to be quite very interesting and surprising. That might be the to see this might be quite coming in for. Okay, gonna have to overtake one Strato might be quite coming in for. Again, this is going to be quite excellent. But having a nice good engine sound might be quite good. To Okay, that's a little bit tricky, but that you probably might have to be more careful next time. Okay, here we go, final lap of the race, and then this is going to get a little bit hard to be the catch up on it. Okay, gonna go in. Just gonna have to be on second place. Might be able to have to do a lot more work to do it. Okay, looks like running out of hairpins turns might be key coming in for it. Just gonna have to get a little bit closer to catch up to that will fail for C. Okay, one more turn and then this will going downhill. Just gonna have to make sure because this is definitely the tricky one in the last corner on your first. Now looks like just definitely survive on this race and then this is going to be quite very tougher for the Strato. So the number two most fastest N200 car is definitely quite coming stronger to beat the Alfa Romeo for C. So any other N200 cars are also to get a lot more better to be able to try to keep up. So this might be able to do a lot 
and better, so this will also have to do a lot of clean consecutive turns might be keep coming in for. Alright, so looks like this is definitely all good, so looks like it's time for the last round of this race to get ready to take on the dirt challenge. So, looks like it's time to challenging the R Audi Oopsie rally car and it's gonna be quite going to be prepared on Sardega windmills and I hope that you guys really excited for the Stratos to get ready for an all-out rally race to begin so this will might be able to have five laps to get started now looks like choosing up the difficult and then this will go pro at it so maybe it's possible that this wheel might be able to go with 6 laps, so this will be much better. So this is going to have to take a lot of extended work. Alright, the Sport Quattro S1 versus Lancia Strat B, B Rally Car race that wheel might be able to begin. So, looks like this is going to be quite good for an all-wheel drive versus... Now, giving a little minor setback you guys, so... I'm just want to make sure this wheel might cover up the whole moment that might be needed to get prepared so maybe I just definitely able to get back on the tuning settings so looks like this is going to be able to have a lot of maxed out performance on the horsepower so this will be a 344 will be quite very good in, to improve so this will might get better to have a lot of excellent speed to be able to race on the dirt so looks like I hope I might be, be prepared for this moment because just definitely fix everything up until this wheel might be able to get started for a new fresh segment and then let's see how I can probably do it and then this wheel might be able to get prepared to take on the Audi S1 Sports Fossil Pike Peak Edition is going to get a lot more better to keep it up of course so it may be possible to be able to have it do a lot more maintenance that will be able to do a lot more light turns that might be able to keep up at it. But this is going to be quite very difficult, so we might just be very careful. And so, looks like the headlights will definitely turn on, and then this wheel might be able to keep going for it. Now, looks like this is going to have to take six laps for this challenge, so this wheel might be able to have two little small jumps, and then light turns might be keep coming in for it. Now it is pretty slow for a rally car, so it may be quite very hard to catch up to the tougher one. So this is gonna have to take a lot more skills that we might be able to be acquired for. Or here's a little bit something surprising guess that might be able to be for you. So grab any N200 car that has an all-wheel drive, which is the JDM car. So maybe for example, Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution 4 and Subaru Impreza 22 BFCI version. It is definitely quite very good to be able to use the challenge for the Lancia Strato. That might be quite something better for it. So if this might be so, that could be an excellent performance that will might give a good chance to go faster for it. Now looks like I'm on, I'm on three second gap away from the opponent. So looks like this is gonna have to take a lot more challenging skills to get. But this is pretty hard and difficult, so we might be able to do a lot more best for you to get into rally cars that might be able to come better for us. It is always being a standard pro car, but this will might give a chance to do it. Okay, looks like this is going to be coming in for it. Looks like it's being a little bit much closer. Okay. Stay at it, don't lose hope, and then this might be able to keep coming back in for it. So, two seconds gap increase away from my current position. This one's going to be a lot more tougher, and this one might be able to have a lot of improvements that we might need to use on suspension. Okay, getting a little bit closer, but this is going to get much pretty difficult to go at it. Almost there. This might be keep going at it. It looks like this is gonna get a lot more lucky. Extra speed for the turbo car part in it. Alright. Keep going at it and oh man. Try to 
try to keep a little bit much more control, it's going to be a lot more difficult to be even have to keep a lot more stability down for you to throttle, so it might need to get a chance to stay focused. Okay, looks like he's going at it. Looks like he's going to do a lot more excellent techniques to do a little power slide skill to go at it. Almost there. Looks like I'm getting closer. Okay, stay at it. Audi S1 Plotler is trying to get away my current position to overtake. This is going to do a lot more better to be able to do a lot of excellent technique skills to do a little power slide. Go at it. Almost. Reaching up on the uphill turn section. Okay, stay at it. Don't lose control. Okay, that was the one to have rally cars. That might be even have that throttle might be go at it. Okay, looks like try to maintain control at that rep stop jump. Still going at it, so it looks like this is gonna be the fourth lap. Okay, going a little bit wide to turn. Almost. Stay at it. I hope this block goes might be quite giving a good chance that this is the third late reaching expert. There you go. Now that was a very hard challenge that might be able to go at it. Now, looks like this is going to get a little bit much trickier to be able to keep at it, so looks like this is going to do a lot more attempts that might be about to stay at it. Okay, that was a little bit tough. Turn, going at it, so be careful. And now, let's get back on the lead. So, this is going to have to do a lot more better to be able to stay at it without getting hit. Okay, keep going. Launch that throttle up and then this will might keep coming better for us. Well, if only might be able to use on the manual transmission, that will be much quickly as possible. No, no, no. Bomber. I know this is gonna get a little bit much tougher to do it. That's not what happens because don't get too speed up on the dirt track. That will might get get yourself crashed. But I can't believe it, that was so close to be that I had to get a one attempted overtake at this. That almost might be able to, have to do it. So I hope the block might be quite coming better for it. So it is definitely quite very good to be able to have a lot more excellent skills that will be might be able to do on the dirt. But can I say a single mid engine road car that might be able to drive on the dirt could be quite very slightly difficult to go at it, but this is a specialty rally car that has the main engine car for it. That could be quite strong enough against the all-wheel drive, so maybe in rally time, all-wheel drive always being the expert that might be quite giving a good hand with skills, so maybe the Stronto would be able to get a second chance that will might be able to keep up with this rally race. Okay, so looks like this is gonna have to do it much better to do a lot more properly to be able to go at it. So looks like the Audi S1 Quattro is definitely in the final lap, so looks like this is gonna have to do a lot more better to be able to continue on for the next race to be doing the same car. So here we go, let's do it. So this wheel might come out in second place. 
Looks like the cat do a lot more practice and you have to do a lot more skillful turns while kicking in the dirt. Hey, join. This rule might be that you do a lot more twice turns to go at it. Or better for it. Yeah, I know that this might come out in second place for you for using the slot you guys. But maybe if so, this could be quite very good to be able to have a rematch race to the next one. So this is gonna be quite giving a good chance to be able to use this for it. So practice makes perfect, but this will might be able to be prepared for the most toughest opponents. Because 1970 versus 1980 rally car could be quite very prepared for the most challenging race in the GT sport, which might be prepared for it. But I hope that this is going to be able to have something without a rally car library version of it. This will be quite very cool. Alright, finally made it at last, and then this may be quite coming good for it. Well, I kind of say that all-wheel drive always rules the ra rules the dirt, so looks like maybe this will be able to get a lot more chance for the Stratos, so this will might be able to get ready for the next race sometime later. Well, maybe another time, but this will might be able to get ready to be prepared. So, looks like let's get the earnings up, and then looks like daily workout has finally finished. Well, I hope this will might be you had have a second chance to be able to get ready, but well, I hope this will might be you had to challenge the Audi Sport S1 Quattro someday for it. Valencia Stratos will might get a chance to be prepared for this one. So, looks like the daily workout complete for this today, and looks like it's Nissan Skyline R34 GTR is now definitely received. So this will add it into the garage. Now, looks like for the reward on the mi mileage exchange, so looks like this is going to be quite good to be able to have to purchase all kinds of aluminum colors will be might needed for. So G8 is definitely quite going good for green. And looks like I might be able to get ready to get started to continuing on to keep stacking up with some more, with some more credits. So, very good for the Lancia Stratos, we'll be able to drive on the tarmac and also on the dirt to race for the Group B rally cars. So, this will be quite excellent to be able to have some improvement settings, so this will might be able to do a lot more work, but this is definitely become an N300 sports car that could probably be able to do on the rally race event, so maybe it's only just a standard road car, so this is definitely able to be look like a rally car but it takes a lot of hard skills to be required to master it. So this will be challenging with any other Group B cars with using the Stratos, which might be quite tougher and get challenged yourself. So slight turns on the dirt could be quite very challenging that we might need to have a lot more power slides that we might be able to keep going at it. So keep practicing with using the Lancia Stratos to challenging the Group B rally cars. So this will might be able to get ready, get yourself prepared. So looks like the dirt track is definitely the only thing for the 1973 rally car that will might be able to get ready to step up on it. All right, folks, glad that you really enjoyed this race. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for reaching up a 100 subscriber goal. And don't forget to leave a like and comment and the bell notification uploads. And also the links in the description down below if you want to see more if you're interested. I'll be see you guys next time to continuing on on the race on Gran Turismo Sports. And I'll see you guys later. Keep on racing. Stay cool.